Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in on one photo raw 2021 and I'm playing around with a photo that I took at Cadillac Ranch up in Amarillo, Texas along Route 66. This is the photo that is unedited and so far I've made a couple of minor edits here in the develop tab which have given me that photo. But the thing I want to talk about in this video is the masking and how you can isolate a subject and just simply really control your image and the outcome that you get with the incredibly powerful, accurate, and amazing masks here in On One. So I'm going to go straight to effects and get started with that. And I'm going to start with dynamic contrast. So what I want to do is isolate the car. So I'm going to go ahead and bump up some of the effects here that I want to have on the car, uh, cars, I should say. And let me go ahead and get that. Uh, let's see, that's there. I'm going to lift the shadows to mid 30s. And then I'm going to lift the vibrance to about the mid 50s. So something about like that. Now, of course, that's applying globally. So what I want to do is get into AI Quick Mask and basically tell the software what I want to keep and what I want to drop. So it's showing me drop right now. What I'm going to do is draw my little red paint all around here. And um, I will fast forward the video so you don't have to listen to me talk. But all I'm doing is giving the software as much information as possible about what I don't want to keep, or in other words, what I want the edit not to apply to. Okay, there's the drop, which means no edit applies there. And the keep, what I want to do is come in here and paint some green onto these cars because I do want to keep them, of course. So this is a situation where I tend to take my time. I'm doing a little bit fast here because it's a video, but basically, I've said, hey, on one, add the dynamic contrast where it's green, which is the cars. Don't add it anywhere else. Let's hit apply and see how good my mask looks. And there you go. Uh, that looks pretty darn good, to be honest. There's a couple of areas I'm going to do a little bit of touch up on. I can see right along this edge of that car, a little bit there, a little bit here, and a little bit on this uh, roof line over here. Oh, and a tiny bit down here in the bottom. Now that I've got that, I'm just going to hit apply and there you go. My mask is in good shape. Actually, you know what? I just noticed I've got a little bit of the dirt over here. So I'm going to go drop that. I don't want the dirt to get all these edits. I just want to get it there in the car. And I see I've got some of the dirt over here as well. So again, it's just about isolating this section of the photo. And I think we're good now. When you're ready, you just click done, apply that. And now what you can see is I've isolated the cars. If I click view, you can see the cars have been isolated and I click view again to get rid of that. And of course, dynamic contrast, all these edits now apply only to those cars. I'm going to use that again. In fact, I'm going to use it two more times. I'm going to click copy. So I've got to copy that mask. I'm now going to get HDR look and I'm going to, let's see, that's uh, boom. That's exactly how I want it. So no further edits. I'm just going to click paste. And there we go. I've just stuck HDR look in those same spots. There it is before and there it is after. It's just incredibly easy and powerful just reusing these masks. And in fact, I'm going to go get color balance and I'm going to do that one more time. And highlights, I'm going to go to a hue of about 30. I went a little too far there. And the amount is 35. Midtones, I'm going to leave that hue at zero, but I'm going to go amount of about 39. And then click on shadows and for hue i'm going to do about a 48 or 50 something like that and the amount is going to be mid 30 so let's call it a 34 and once again i'm going to paste this mask and there you go let me show you what i've done to the color of the cars i was really trying to bring up some of those red and those warmer tones that's what it currently looks like that's what it was before much more blue and this color balance allowed me to isolate those areas, bring up some of those warmer colors. And I've got just, I think, good looking cars. I've added uh, dynamic contrast, HDR look, both of which designed to really crunch it up. I mean, this is graffiti and paint splattered, rusted old cars. If you don't use HDR look or dynamic contrast ever, that's the kind of stuff to use it on if you're gonna use it. So that's what I did. And uh, then of course, this color balance, as I said, I went from more of a blue look to a warmer, a little richer colored look. Now what I want to do is go play with the sky a little bit. I'm going to take dynamic contrast and I'm going to take all of these to about a negative 50, something about like that. And what I want to do is get into the AI quick mask again. I just love that tool. I'm going to increase my mouse. And what I want to do is just impact the sky. So I'm going to tell it to keep the sky 
and not keep anything else. Okay, there's my keep, and now I'm gonna switch over to drop, and I wanna tell it, look, I wanna drop the cars, I wanna drop the ground, I just want this edit to go into the sky. So let me paint that in. Okay, there's that, let me hit apply, and that's what I'm talking about, my friends. Look at that, I mean, that, that just gets me kind of fired up, to be honest, I just absolutely, love how powerful that mask is and it's incredibly accurate i mean look at the edges i mean honestly that's that it's kind of mind-blowing i'm i mean boom it's kind of a mind-blowing i'm gonna hit done and i'm gonna move on so i've just added negative dynamic contrast to the sky so let me show you there it is before and there it is now that's current state and that's simply because i just wanted to soften it now i want to play with the color so i'm going to copy that mask i'm going to go get color balance again if you're not familiar with color balance i'll be happy to do a video about it just let me know if you think that would help for highlights i'm going to leave the hue at zero i'm going to go amount of about 45 and so this is basically going to impact the sky and then mid-tones i'm going to leave the hue at zero and I'm gonna to go to about a 15 or so. And what I wanna do here, of course, is paste the mask in. So once again, I've got an incredibly perfect, basically, I mean, honestly, that's like pixel perfect kind of mask, right? And you saw how easy it was. I skipped the video for my painting, but my painting took, you know, five seconds, seven seconds, and I got that nice of a mask. So what I've done is uh, isolated this guy quick and easily, and then applied negative uh, dynamic contrast to it to soften it, personal preference, I just like soft skies, and then color balance to adjust some of the color tone. So let me turn it off. There it is before the color balance, much more blue, and afterwards, much more of those warmer kind of sunset colors, which I wanted to bring up to kind of accentuate what I did with the cars. I wanted to create a little bit of that look in uh, that area, right? I want the car and the sky colors to kind of go together a little bit more, and I wanted them to both be a little warmer and richer. I've gotten there now. And now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get Tone Enhancer, and this time what I wanna do is I just wanna impact the ground. So what I did is I just went through and I increased contrast. Uh, I went to like high 30s, so let's call that like a 38. And I take the shadows down like a negative 32 or something like that. So this is what I often do is I will start isolating, or excuse me, start making adjustments before I isolate the area with the mask just to kind of see what I want. Um, I took the detail down to like a negative 20 because I don't really care about there being detail in the ground because I don't want you to pay attention to it. I want the viewers to say, wow, I like the lineup of the cars kind of, you know, I grab onto that first car and I kind of follow it that way. I love the colors and then I love the sky. The ground to me is not important here. So I'm basically, um, I don't want to say hiding it, but I'm isolating it so that no one's paying attention to it. And then once again, I'm going to go get an AI quick mask and it defaults to drop. So I'm going to go ahead and say drop, which is going to be all these cars. Um, and it's also going to be the sky because all I'm working on here is the ground. So let me do that. I'm going to isolate this car. And then I'm also going to come across here and just isolate the entire sky. Now I just want to go up to keep, and I want to say keep all these tone enhancer edits just in the ground on one. Do it your magic and show me what you got. And I'm kind of going over here, isolating that. I think that should be enough. I'm going to hit apply. Okay, and there you go. Not perfect, but I mean so close to perfect. I, I'm fine with it, to be honest. I don't think you're going to notice much of a difference. I'm going to click done, and there you go. What I've done is basically isolated the ground, left the cars and the sky completely alone, and all these tone enhancer adjustments, negative exposure, increased contrast, reduced shadows, reduced detail, all of that went into the ground. And so that's what the ground used to look like. And there it is now. Now, it may be a little bit too dark. In fact, I think I'm gonna pull that back just a little bit, maybe something like that. I don't wanna overdo it, but I definitely don't want the viewers to be looking at the ground. I care about the cars, and I want the tones in the sky to kinda of go with it. And that's my full edit, my friends. That is six different filters here applied with AI Quick Mask. Super accurate, super powerful, frankly, super amazing. Gives me wonderful visibility into this. I actually see a couple of spots I need to touch up in the dirt there. And now that I've got better visibility into it inside this car, that's actually some of the dirt as well. The point is you can quickly and easily adjust that with the AI Quick Mask and using these filters. And that's how I go about isolating subjects to really draw the viewer's attention by using quick masks and other kinds of masking as well. 
all the different various masking tools here and on one. I've been demoing in a lot of my recent videos. Just wanted to show you how I isolated this one. Hope it helps. Hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching, my friends. Have fun editing out there. I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and until then, adios.